Google have the Chrome operating system, which is Chrome OS, and that's different to Android, which some tablets also run Android. But if you buy a Chrome tablet, well, then you can run Chrome apps and you can also run Android apps as well. I want a Chrome tablet, do they exist? Yes, indeed they do. Chrome tablets do exist. So Google made a Chrome, I think it was called the Chrome Pixel tablet. I don't know if they're still making it anymore, but let's go and have a look for it. And effectively, this is a tablet running on Chrome OS. And here we go. Now, this is a kind of interesting space at the moment because Google have the Chrome operating system, which is Chrome OS, and that's different to Android, which some tablets also run Android, but the Chrome OS can run Android apps. So if you buy a Chrome tablet, well, then you can run Chrome apps and you can also run Android apps as well. The confusing thing is, why doesn't everyone just make Chrome tablets instead of Android tablets? Well, because Android is technically a mobile operating system rather than a desktop operating system, and it tends to be just a little bit lighter on resources. So therefore, most people stick to running Android on a tablet rather than the bulkier Chrome OS. Now, don't discard Chrome OS on a tablet. It works pretty good with styluses. It's built for touch input because most Chromebooks are touch right out of the box. So I've not tested it myself personally, but I do have high hopes for how the experience is running Chrome on a tablet. I've run a Chromebook for many, many years, and I would often use my Chrome Pixelbook in tablet mode, meaning I'd flip over the screen and I'd be able to just use the touch screen on that tablet, effectively a laptop that became a tablet. And when I used that, it allowed me to use a stylus, a pen, I could draw, I could type with it. And I did really like that using the touch input for just about everything that I did. Now, that said, these haven't had a massive take up. I would recommend if you're new to a Chrome device, I would choose a Chromebook or a Chromebox first. They're probably a better way to get your feet wet, just testing out Chrome OS, seeing if you like it and using the inputs of a keyboard and a mouse to get your work done before you go ahead and make the jump straight into a tablet. It is a different operating system and it's not a mobile first operating system. It's a desktop first operating system. So you're gonna have to get used to how it works, in my opinion, before jumping straight to a tablet. But I'm 99% sure even if you did buy the Chrome Pixel tablet, well, that you could actually connect a Bluetooth keyboard and probably a Bluetooth mouse. Some of them even come with docking stations. And with that, you can actually just use it like a laptop if you wanted to. I still haven't decided to make the jump completely to tablet living. I've got an iPad Pro and I find myself still going back and forward between that and a desktop or a laptop style computer. I don't think there's any utopia in devices that we use, but if you are interested in Chrome in a tablet, Google makes one and that's probably the best place to go to test it out. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.